One of the most common myths that I saw on internet is Is email marketing dead? In fact, I'll tell you it's not There are over 4 billion users using emails as their daily communication tool Especially for businesses And let's say if you do not have any email marketing strategy on your business You are leaving tons of money on your table Why is it so effective? It's because Firstly, it is able to reach your customers in the easiest and fastest way, one-to-one. -one. It is also very cost-effective. For example, you invest every $1 in email marketing, you can easily generate $42 back as your return of investment. So you see how powerful is email marketing. And that's why in this video, I'm going to share with you my 5 do's and don'ts especially on the email marketing strategy so that you can adopt it and try to avoid all those unnecessary mistakes for your business. Let's deep dive in right now. Now, the first do in your email marketing strategy is to grow your email list and don't buy your email list. Why? Because let's say if you buy your email list and you send out to them There's a high possibility you'll become a spammer Because your this audience don't know even who you are So that's why I will always suggest businesses to grow their email list okay, By having uh, maybe a, a, a lead magnet okay, for them to opt in you know, Into a newsletter so that they will know you first Before they are willing to opt in their email details to you so that's why always remember grow your email list instead of buy your email list the second do's in your email marketing strategy is remember to engage with your subscribers and don't let them wait why because once your prospects enter their email details inside to subscribe to your newsletter they are expecting something from you immediately I've seen a lot of businesses never even follow up after I subscribe to their email address and they're letting me wait so that's why if you want to retain your email subscribers please do remember to constantly engage with them by sending a welcome email and congrats them instead of letting them wait now the third thing that you need to do to have a successful email marketing strategy is to Send a personalized email to your email subscribers and don't send a generic email. Why? Because let's say as a prospect, I prefer a more personalized email sent to me so that I'm more willing to open up the email with where there's a name attached to me. So you must always remember this. If you want to build a relationship, to build trust with your email subscribers, you need to personalize your email instead of sending a very generic email to them. The fourth thing that you need to do for your email marketing strategy is to include a compelling pre-hated text. Why is it important? Because let's say if you send an email to your list of subscribers, normally they will be using Gmail, Outlook, or maybe their company email. When they receive that email, they will see a line of pre-hated text which tells what is it this email about okay so that's why you need to make sure that your pre-header text is attractive and compelling enough to persuade them to open up your email and this is the one of the common mistakes that i saw businesses make is they either make the pre-header text too corporate spammy which leads to your prospects just saw the email and delete away so that's why if you really want to have a successful email marketing strategy please do remember to include a compelling pre-header text before you even send out your email now the last step that you need to know is do remember to segment your email list based on their interest and do not send the same email to every subscriber why? Because your prospects subscribe their emails to your newsletter, right? They are expecting something that interests them. 
So let's say if you send one email to every subscribers, maybe some of them might not resonate with your content. In the end, they will unsubscribe from your email list, which I think that you won't want that to happen. So that's why it is very, very important to take note. Always segment your email list based on your audience interest and do not send the same email to every subscribers. I hope you all find this video useful to understand what are the 5 do's and don'ts to have a successful email marketing strategy and so that you can start implementing now and avoid all those unnecessary mistakes. Well, that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.